It's been forever since I've seen the sun. It's almost been 20 minutes. Supplies are running low. Food is running very thin. But at least I have toilet paper. It's been forever since I've seen your smile. I miss your face. The touch of your hair. Your long, floppy ears. Hopefully one day, I'll see you again soon. Till then. Hey Peter, what's <coughs> Alexa, I her alert. Welcome to the wet market, mother. <laughs> so we've been trapped indoors for a very long time now. We've done a, a few Roomba videos in the past, and you guys have said more Roomba videos. I got this idea. A Roomba is a device that goes down your house cleaning floors and picking up garbage because you're too lazy to do it yourself. But I haven't seen a Roomba sanitize and clean. Let's put some supplies to make this stupid Roomba. Let's go to Walmart! We have our N95 mask and we're going into Walmart, the biohazard zone, to pick up some supplies for our Roomba bot. We have one more thing to get. I gotta get a flare pistol. We are back from our Walmart run. So the plan of action is flare pistols, Lysol, UV sterilizer bulbs, and we're gonna combine them all to the world's most sanitized Roomba bot to clean the virus. So to do this, I'm gonna have to 3D print some mounts. There's gonna be two flare pistols on the Roomba, and the Lysol will be here. And then we're gonna drag the light bulbs to sterilize the floor. Sam's actually gonna be working on some code for this because the Roomba itself will be doing normal Roomba stuff. But now if you sneeze or cough, that's where it will get you. If you sneeze, it sprays this. Now if you cough, it shoots you with this. Wild West. Let's play Russian Roulette. Alright, the next logical step is to test these to make sure that the flare guns don't explode when we fire them, or at least break off the mount. So we're gonna try that out now. We're gonna modify these to shoot hand sanitizer. Family friendly content. Ready for the testing. So the sanitizer or slug is in place. Close that. Oh, we might need a little bit of weight, so let's put that on there for now. Alright, you ready? I think so. Three. Two, one. Oh! <laughs> it actually damaged the foam a little bit. Oh, look, look, look at that. It actually cracked through the foam. That worked great. That's awesome. Okay, let's let's go ahead and put the servos on there, and we're done with this part phase. Oh. Okay. okay, that works. A chew, a chew, a chew, a chew. Ha 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 ha. Ha chew! Ha 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 ha. Alright, so we can see what's going on better because it's kind of hard to see the um, Lysol stream. I've taped a candle to it. The code is really glitchy, but now it randomly works again without doing anything. <laughs> oh, oh god! Cough, cough! Oh no! Sneeze! Sneeze! Achoo! How'd you get to work in the Adrenal Land? The sensor's really inaccurate, but I pretty much took volume levels over an average and said a sneeze would be loud but longer. 
But this sensor is really bad, so it's really dirty and it just does whatever it wants to do. Ow. Sam's thing works great. The Adreno thing works for a, what is it, a cough? It shoots the Lysol? Cough will shoot the family. Oh, cough shoots the friendly. So we have a sh content. We're just gonna prove to see if it works. So now that's loaded. We, it's, it's not cocked yet. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I, I think you might want to do that a little bit. We definitely put a hole in that. So that works. It might be a little fine tuning, but this is a very, very working proof of concept. I wouldn't want to be sick around this Roomba. Now that our glorious sanitization contraption is complete, we are going to put it to the test. We have a can of Lysol to sanitize your mail and spray down the air to keep the virus away from you. And if the people don't get the message, it also comes with flare guns equipped with special sanitizing shells to sterilize the area of people and living objects. Like that. Oh, these things are actually loaded. And on the back side, we have special UVC sterilizing light bulbs to generate ozone and cause permanent blindness if you stare at them too long. Now that we have the, this glorious contraption all built, it is time to put this thing to the test. I have organized this competition between me and Sam called the Sanitization Roomba Royale. We have Sam over in this corner and we have me in this corner. We're going to set this thing loose and try to trigger it by coughing and sneezing as much as possible. All right, you ready? Let's go. Okay, so that works pretty good. Unfortunately, the Roomba does Roomba stuff. It, it, it runs around bumping and everything. It doesn't actually track human targets like what I would want a sanitizing Roomba to do. So I've actually got this neat thing from a friend uh, back at Maker Faire last year when that was still a thing. He gave us these things called Smarty Bots. Basically, it's like some real DIY stuff for some kids or whatever to kind of make your own like robot with AI intelligence. Does it say cow? It's found a cow. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. It has a tracking component in it that uses your iPhone to kind of like track things such as like dogs, cats, people. So we're going to put that thing on this thing and see if we can get the room to track someone. Alright Sam, do you think your hardwired hard installation of this smarty bot system works? I don't think it's enough amps. Uh, let's try it. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah, look, it works. Oh, that's actually pretty simple. So now it's tracking you and it's armed with Lysol. Get ready. Cough, 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 cough. <laughs> you idiot. Hachu! Hachu! Come on, kill me. Hachu! Hachu! <laughs> it's learning to walk. Hachu bot! Hachu! Hachu! It keeps over ramping because these motors are way too big for this little boy. Uh, let's try this one more time. I want to see it come to me. I'll be it slowly, I'll accept it. And then I'll try one last upgrade. So go, just come here. Come here. Come on. Achoo! Achoo! <laughs> the lights off. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. That might be it. Unfortunately, the motor driver is a little bit too, too low power for such an application. I want to see this thing rip, so I got one last thing I got to do. Oh yeah, we have three cell power. So it's much faster now, we're just driving a normal RC control. But now it's time to do some lensing for real. It is time to beta test our product. We're gonna test the sanitization properties of this Roomba on some unsuspecting victims, AKA my parents. Hey, did you guys go shopping today? 
today. Yeah. Okay, we went to Walmart. Oh, okay. Well, then you need to be cleansed. Uh, you know, Walmart's kind of scary right now. So you went to Walmart? Are you dirty? Hey, we'll burn my house down. What? Are you sure? So there you have it. Um, this is our ghetto solution to the virus. It's got flare pistols that shoot hand sanitizer. That's currently not working because uh, it's really disgusting and messy. UVC sterilization light bulbs that give you eyeball cancer if you look at them too much, and also you emit ozone for sterilizing the room. And also a can of hand sanitizer, or no hand sanitizer. What is this, Lysol? Lysol. Okay, we're probably done with that. It does normal Lysol if you don't light it on fire. That's a proof of concept. I think someone mentions we should do some more videos with the Roomba, so there's your video with the Roomba. Now let us know what you want to see in the comment section elsewise. That's, that's it.